If you have an EV tariff with providers such as Octopus, then chances are you will have specific time slots to get the cheaper tariff when charging your car. Depending on the supplier and tariff, you will need to set up charging differently on your all-electric Explorer. In the following examples, I will use Octopus as the supplier, but these settings may be the same with other suppliers. If you are looking to switch suppliers and choose Octopus, then use the referral code GOODHAWK866 to receive £50 free credit when signing up. With Intelligent Octopus Go, you can use either the Ford Explorer or a compatible charger to manage your charging. If you do not have a compatible charger, then you can link your all-electric Explorer by following these steps. Open the Octopus Energy app and go to the Home tab. Scroll down to Explore Our Lab and tap Get Started on the Intelligent Octopus Go card. Select Electric Vehicles as the device you want to integrate. Click Add My Car and select Ford Explorer from the drop-down. Click Setup Charger and select your charger make and model. Accept the TNCs and click Start Tariff Switch. Click on Connect Your Device. You'll then be prompted to sign into your Ford account. Once logged in, you will be asked to select the vehicle that you'd like to link and then authorize access to control your charging. Test the connection to confirm that Octopus Energy can control your Ford. This can take up to 10 minutes to complete. You will need to be at home with the EV plugged in to complete this. Once the test connection is successful, you'll see a completion screen that says, You're all set up. If you do have a compatible charger, such as the Ohm Home Pro, My Energy Zappy, or Wallbox Pulsar Plus, then you can set up Octopus to use this device to manage the charging schedule instead. The setup is the same as before, but this time select Chargers as the device you want to set up and follow the steps on screen to connect. Octopus will now control your charging sessions when at home. There is no need to do anything else. Just plug your car in and allow the schedule to be created automatically. On the Octopus app, you will now see a devices icon at the bottom. Tapping this will show your vehicle and allow you to go in and change the charge to add and ready by time. One thing to note here is the charge to add is how much you want to add to your battery. For example, if your car is at 50% and you want to charge to 80%, then select 30% charge to add. When Octopus is configured to use the charger rather than the car, you need to ensure all charge schedules are turned off on the Explorer as these could interfere with the ability to charge. You need to have the Explorer set to charge immediately. If Octopus schedules the charge for later that evening, this will show as an error on the car in the form of a red charge status light and in the Ford Pass app with a notification saying, Charge Station Fault. This is okay as the car was expecting to receive power from the charger shortly after plugging it in. It will still accept the charge when the schedule kicks in later. If Octopus schedules the charge to start immediately, the charge status light on the Explorer will change to a slow pulsing green light. If you want to bump charge your car, open the Octopus app and under devices, tap bump charge. This will shortly begin charging your car but be aware this will not be at the cheaper rate. You can see the schedule Octopus has set for tonight's charging session in the app under device status. This may change overnight as Octopus helps balance the load on the grid, but Octopus will always aim to have your car charged by the percentage and by the time you select in the app. If you want to charge your car to 100%, I would advise turning off the battery care mode here. This can be re-enabled after you have charged to 100% if you wish to help preserve the battery life.